Okay, so I know there's a ton of you out there who are absolutely chubbing out over the upcoming 2023 Neo G9, and hey, I get it on paper, the specs look absolutely incredible. We're talking about a display that is essentially two 4K 32 inch monitors, specifically 31.5 inch, and they're going to be running at 240 hertz and they're going to be mini LED, probably get super bright. It's sounding like HDR 1000 certification this time around. So there's a lot of stuff on paper, which is really good, especially that certification as the Neo G8 Samsung's previous 4K 32 inch monitor. I don't believe that one was HDR certified. They typically haven't been certifying them in the past, and it's been a huge issue as it's felt a little bit disingenuous when you actually got the monitor, and it didn't seem quite as bright as maybe you are expecting. Well, with an HDR certification, there's a chance that this monitor could be significantly better than their previous attempts, but is it enough for me to and go to town on this monitor? Well, we gotta talk about that because again, the Neo G8 had a ton of issues. I know a lot of people like it. It's the only 4K 240 hertz monitor on the market. And on top of that, it's also HDR. And hey, the HDR ain't bad, but there's a couple problems with the Neo G8. First of all, it had a horrendous, vomit-inducing matte finish. I mean, guys, it looked absolutely awful. It really, really ruined the image quality pretty significantly on that monitor. Now, the Neo G7, had a less aggressive matte finish. I still hate a matte finish no matter how matte or not matte it is. It's either glossy or nothing for me. But hey, if everything else about the monitor is absolutely fantastic, I am willing to deal with the matte finish, but everything else has to be really, really good. That was not the case with the Neo G8. And that again, that finish was just ridiculous. So the other big issue with the Neo G8 was scan lines. And that's something I wanna talk about when we talk about this upcoming 57 inch Neo G9, which oopsie, forgot to mention, yeah, this thing is gonna be pretty big, but it's also gonna have a pretty aggressive curve, so it might not be as big as it sounds. It's, again, essentially two 4K monitors just curved around you, which kind of sounds amazing for productivity and even for gaming. A huge curve like that is gonna help mini LED significantly to get rid of the viewing angle problems that it has. So I think on paper, again, this looks really, really good. But what about those scan lines? Because that was a deal breaker on the Neo G8. It is just way too much money to be spending on a monitor to be having a very severe issue like scan lines. Now, I had hands-on and even other parts of my body all over the Neo G9 during CES. And I haven't gotten into detail about it in the past, but let's talk about it now. And I'm going to show you guys some footage in we're going to actively look for scan lines. Now, I will tell you, of course, footage is never going to be the same as seeing it in person, and I'll talk about my personal thoughts at the end of this video, but let's go ahead and scroll through quickly some of the footage that I got at CES, and let's see if we can find any scan lines. Now, I do have some footage up here right now of me panning to the right of this monitor, and I have it zoomed in 300%, and to my eye, looking very, very carefully so far, I am not seeing scan lines. We have to remember the Neo G8 had them on blues and oranges, most obviously, I'd say. And then if we take a look at the second bit of footage where it's just a static bit of footage, I can see some of the imperfections of the camera, but I can't really see scan lines once again. But let's real quick go back to that first bit of footage as I think this one's a little bit better. And let's zoom in maybe 500% here. And let, let's see if we can see anything that pops out to us. And I'm gonna be pausing it as there's a lot of moving parts here and I'm, guys, I'm just still not seeing scan lines. But does that mean that there aren't any scan lines? And that's something we have to talk about. When I had my hands on with this monitor during CES and I was looking very, very closely and let's go ahead and actually take a look at an image that I took of the monitor and I'm gonna play around with this and talk about my thoughts. I didn't notice any scan lines during my hands-on with this monitor. And zooming way in, looking at blue lights, I'm still not seeing it. And guys, that's a really, really good sign because although of course I'm never gonna like their choice to use a matte finish as it's sounding like they're going to be probably using that, of course there is a chance that maybe they won't, maybe things have changed since CES, but sounding like matte finish is probably pretty likely, which is a huge blow to the quality, but everything else about this monitor sounds absolutely amazing. And if it really delivers and there's no issues, there's no quality control problems. And as we're seeing here right now, 
I'm not seeing any scan lines at all. That's a huge, huge, huge improvement over the Neo G8. And this could actually be a really good monitor. I don't say that often, guys. I do not say that often. That <laughs> This could be one of the very, very few, like, absolutely excellent HDR monitors because that resolution is going to be absolutely incredible in games. The curve is going to help mini LED a lot and the speed is going to help mask some of the issues that LCD has if you can actually drive it at 240 hertz. But guys, I'm looking all around this image when I was there in person, I couldn't see it. So it's sounding like to me, probably no scan line. So hopefully that turns out to be the case. Hopefully this isn't just a one-off thing because that was horrible on the Neo J and the main reason I returned it. But so far looking at this monitor guys, it's looking like this could be the real deal. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra thin flexible and durable housing and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.